President Joe Biden intends to bolster U.S. military support to Ukraine in the final months of his administration, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on Wednesday, after Russia launched a sophisticated missile and drone attack on Kiev. The U.S. will continue to shore up everything we're doing for Ukraine to make sure that it can effectively defend itself against this Russian aggression, Blinken told reporters at NATO headquarters, before planned meetings with Allied envoys and Ukrainian officials. Blinken warned that North Korea's decision to send its troops into combat operations alongside Russian forces demands and will get a firm response. He didn't elaborate. U.S., South Korean and Ukrainian intelligence assessments say up to 12,000 North Korean combat troops are being sent to the war. The bulk of those troops were expected to be deployed in Russia's Kursk region where Ukrainian troops have seized a swathe of territory. Russia's early morning missile and drone attack was the first on Kiev in 73 days. President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that Russia is intensifying its strikes, apparently in an effort to discourage Ukrainians from continuing the war, which is approaching its 1,000-day milestone. Russia appears to be pressing its advantage as doubt swirls about how Washington might change policy on the war after Donald Trump takes office as U.S. President in January. The U.S. is the biggest provider of military help to Ukraine. Trump has slammed the Biden administration for giving Kyiv tens of billions of dollars in aid and has promised to quickly end the conflict. Ukraine's international backers fear that any rushed settlement would mostly benefit Russian President Vladimir Putin. A series of heavy Israeli airstrikes hit Beirut's southern suburbs on Tuesday, with explosions and plumes of smoke seen rising over the skyline of the Lebanese capital. Large explosions shook the area known as Dahia, where Hezbollah has a significant presence soon after the Israeli military issued evacuation orders for 11 houses there. There was no immediate word on casualties. The military said the houses contained Hezbollah installations, but the claim could not be independently confirmed. Israel has been carrying out intensified bombardment of Lebanon since late September, vowing to cripple Hezbollah and put a stop to more than a year of cross-border fire by the Lebanese militant group onto northern Israel. Israeli strikes have killed more than 3,100 people in Lebanon, according to the health ministry. The ministry does not differentiate between civilians and Hezbollah fighters in its toll. Israel claimed hundreds of Hezbollah fighters have been killed. In Israel, 72 people have been killed by Hezbollah attacks, including 30 soldiers, according to the Prime Minister's office. For nearly a year, the conflict was mostly contained to the areas along the border between Israel and Lebanon. The conflict dramatically escalated on September 23 with intense Israeli airstrikes on south and east Lebanon as well as Beirut's southern suburbs, leaving hundreds dead and leading to the displacement of nearly 1.2 million people.